Okay, today's date is Tuesday, July 6th, 2021. I'm here in Mullins, West Virginia, trying to do a little walking tour video in Wyoming County. I'm restarting my attempt to film something in every county in the state again. I had to start my YouTube over again after I get locked out of one. I got a decent amount in Fayette County, this is my home county, then a little bit in Raleigh County. Luckily, I still have some old Summers County videos I was able to re-upload of the trains that cabin I done last year. I was going to walk up the alley there, but I don't know who that is. Try not to get in my videos. Really careful, I think that's talking enough to hold me. Yeah, I think this building's going to set and fall down. I don't know who owns it, I know most of the roof is gone. This one, I think, might still be open from time to time. I don't really know. There's a couple storefronts here that might still be open from time to time. They look like they would be. Couldn't tell you they are, they ain't. Yeah, there's no lights on in there. This one's definitely closed down. And it has the letter S. I don't know. I know Mullins is famous for the cat because it's part of the hot film. McCoy trail system, a famous trail system. Oh wow. I'm gonna turn around here. Frontier hook. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all still open. Todd's hook. Attorney at law. Yeah, they probably would be open to a lawyer's office. But there's so many buildings here just setting and falling apart. Start to be cool, get out and walk around. But I'm gonna walk up this sidewalk here, so a little bit inside the building, then I'm gonna head on down to the Pastor Rami Hotel and Pastor Dollar Gen General. Ironically, the Dollar General is actually located in the old storefront, what used to be a department store. It's actually a very interesting looking building, I have to say. Okay, so I can get back out. This is an old road, I don't know how far up it goes, but last time I was low. I think last time I was here there's a few window there's the boards missing off the windows and I didn't film here. I just know the roof and the third and sec second and third floor is pretty much destroyed. Well third and fourth floor, you might be able to see the second floor. Trying to avoid getting people in the video. I didn't realize that alley was so famous. Every time I start recording, people was walking up and down it. Of course, there's a whole residential neighborhood up there because I did walk up there once doing some photography work. There's a whole entire residential neighborhood up there. Right here's the Slide Fork River, but there's the Guide Dot River. We're very close to the Guidock River, which is behind the storefronts over there. Slab Fork, Southern Heights Community Health Mowings. Uh, well, the Slab Forks. That's funny, the two rivers flows together. I'm gonna follow this sidewalk. Okay, I'm trying to think a lot to say. Can't think a lot of history. I know. I know I'm not far from it, man, but I won't make it in this video. I decided to walk that because it was there. But the Wyoming Hotel Wyoming, it had a historic plaque telling the history about some history, but somebody's removed the historical plaque. It was gone last time I was here, which was two or three months ago, and it's still gone. Oh, good grief. I knew it was hot, but good grief that 91 degrees. I, I know it's hot, I just didn't realize it's that hot. That's some tense heat there. Definitely don't need me mowing grass today. Unless I mow a few late this evening. Oh well, I'm kind of enjoying the day's break from the grass cutting anyways. But there's a few other things I want to show in my little video before I end the video then. Me and my friends gonna head back to Beckley, or back home. Well, back to Mount Hope, not Beckley.
but that's the Robin Hotel from the distance. Apparently Mark Luther King stayed there when he was doing his Mark Half of Dream Marks. That's one of the hotels he actually stayed in when he was doing his marks is for having dream marks and somebody stole the sign. But this is why I find it interesting. Phones are highs, clothing, and then there's more to it. As time goes on more and more, a lot, couple month, months ago you couldn't see the AGE there because that's still covered. It's interesting because apparently there was a, this was originally a vacant lot and another store was built over top of what's there. You can see where they put in the box of the roof they built a different store over here covering the original writing on the wall and then the store that was here I don't know what happened to it but apparently when they put that there there wasn't anything there and at some point that was covered up that side advertising the storefront was covered up when some, when the vacant lot here was had a business put there and then it became a parking lot again that's funny to think about the thing that's covered up by a different building I don't know just funny to think about. Watch this step. I heard a train horn just now. I hope I was a train horn. But I have no way of knowing. What could I do? Grizz will be here soon. But there's what I'm going to look at. Nope, I'm not going in there. But that building's in horrible state. Most of the floor's gone and half and the roof is to the point of one one. Yeah, you definitely couldn't do anything. That building's not even structurally sound. Yeah, this antique place. Obviously they were closed. One of my friends wanted to go in here and they're actually closed. Mason rides open. Okay. That's the insurance company I do my insurance to. For Nathan Rides. I'm not gonna do all the moldings in this video because What company that is? It's a bucket truck with no rain on it. But there's an old cannery nest of Masonic laws. Actually, that reminds me. I got that Masonic laws in the older video. The that. Of course, all the traffic is hard to get across to the railroad crossing here. I know this is not the most organized walking tour video because Mullins is more spur of the moment. My main goal was to film Slab Fork and I figured might as well come to Mullins too, too while doing Slab Fork, which is in Raleigh County, by the way. I think it's the last cold cup you pass me before, before you cross into the into rhyming here. I'm hoping there's a train coming. After all this, I hope I catch a train here. But over there is the Masonic Laws. I just love the way that building's built. It's just a amazing building, just the way it's built. Got those little round windows that look like porthole windows you see in the set. Those tiny round windows. That's what I think of porthole windows in the set. And they got those little slops there. Was it shaped like the windows back in the day? You a lot of castles had those on the wall when they would shoot the arrows out at people for the crossbows, the bow and arrows to protect the king. The little windows blow it. It's interesting, but I'm getting in the video here. I just want to show a quick little bit of a walking tour video of more ones. Okay, this wasn't planned as well, so it should have, I could have planned it more. I'm sorry I'll be here in future trips.